The clock's ticking towards an October 1st deadline that could see 45,000 dock workers from Maine to Texas go on strike, and not only would it impact the port of New York and New Jersey, but as Fox News Teresa Priolo shows us, could bring the supply chain to a standstill right ahead of the holidays. All activity in the port of New York and New Jersey with regards to containerized cargo and automobile cargo uh, will cease. Port Newark, along with 13 other ports along the East and Gulf Coast, are preparing for a total cargo shutdown, a move that could shake the U.S. economy and cost $5 billion a day. We're working to bring in as many ships as possible, have an orderly shutdown of those ships, and then encouraging the shippers through working with both the truckers and the rail carriers to get as much cargo out as humanly possible, as quickly as possible. The shutdown would be the direct result of a longshoreman strike. The roughly 25,000 workers who man the ports wanting a pay increase. The union contract expires at midnight October 1st. The company that controls the terminals and carriers, United States Maritime Alliance, told us they've been trying to schedule a meeting and are prepared to bargain any time. But, quote, there's no indication that the ILA is interested in negotiating at this time. But that's different than what the ILA is saying, quote, they call me several times each week trying to get the ILA to accept a low ball wage package. My ILA members are not going to accept these insulting offers that are a joke, considering the work my ILA longshore workers perform. Some companies have tried to divert ships to the West Coast, but many can't, which means your new car, toys, clothes, and even fake Christmas trees might be stuck floating in the Atlantic until further notice. We can't go to Baltimore, we can't go to Florida, we can't go to anywhere else and ship those up because all of the ports are affected. Chris Butler is the CEO of the National Tree Company. He's looking at about 100 to 250,000 artificial trees impacted by the strike at their busiest time of year. What we're hearing is that this is kind of a done deal and it's inevitable. Uh, and if it happens, it could be two to three weeks until it's resolved. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.